These four binge eaters are all fighting to kick their food habit. At 630 pounds, Lisa Sellers is so obese that she struggles to stand or walk. Two or three times a day, she manages the 25 steps from her bedroom to the kitchen. A short journey leaves her breathless, forcing her to spend the rest of the day lying or sitting on her bed. She relies on her 19-year-old son, Nick, to do the shopping and keep the cabinet stocked with her favorite foods. You know, I just think I put him in a bad position. Sometimes I feel like it might be partially my fault, but uh, I want her to be happy, you know, and, and food makes her happy. In one day, Lisa eats a bowl of sugary cereal, three times the size of the average bowl, a cheeseburger and fries, Chinese carryout, a ham, banana, and mayonnaise sandwich, four cans of cola, three mini sponge cakes in Danish pastry, three chocolate cupcakes, a half pound bag of chips, a quarter pound bag of chocolate chip cookies, and a pound of mini chocolates. A total of 9,277 calories. In Lisa's packet of mini chocolates, there are more calories, about 3,000, than she needs for the entire day if she were to eat a healthy balanced diet. If she continues to eat this daily excess of over 6,000 calories, Lisa will gain almost two pounds every day. Seeing all this in front of me, I feel like I need to start really um, paying more attention to, you know, the amounts I eat and what I eat. That would be my breakfast, maybe. I would eat this for lunch and, you know, eat that for supper or whatever, and then I would have the M&Ms or whatever, but it's different seeing it all laid out. Being aware of what I'm eating now, I would like to think that it, it is a turning point in my life. I can see more clearly now the, um, the, the changes I need to make in my life. You know, definitely try to make healthier choices and you know definitely try to control my portion sizes and and try to get myself back into control sadly for Lisa this optimism is short-lived her addiction to food is so ingrained it's impossible for her to control it on her own and if she continues to eat her 9,000 calorie diet every day she will gain 56 pounds every month each one of these addicts is desperately fighting their own solitary war against food, yet not one of them has found the willpower to beat it on their own. Changing my lifestyle from the last 40 years is not gonna, gonna uh, change overnight or not gonna change just me having chicken salad, you know. It's everything, it's like, um, because I've been over, unable to walk and normal now for quite some time. I've got to start learning that again, building my strength up again, and um, I can't do that on my own. Just can't. Now I'm always going to be addicted to food. That's going to be my problem always. It's just a, just a long battle to fight. You know what I'm saying? A long battle. I know that um, the amount of food that I'm eating is actually going to kill me. It will kill me if I carry on the way I am. But there's, there's nothing I can do. I, I, I don't know what to do. There's no cure. There's nothing I can do about it. I've tried. And I've tried my damnedest. I've done every diet under the book. Everything. And it's... I'm just killing myself every every minute of the day, slowly. <laughs>